So good morning, dear ladies <laughs> and gentlemen. Um, it's my great, great pleasure uh, to be here with you, and also uh, I appreciate a lot the opportunity to introduce uh, the Czech Ring. My name is Lenka, and I'm a representative of Czech Ring. And uh, in the beginning, I would like to know more who you are, but I didn't prepare any online tool, so um, so sorry for that. But uh, uh, let's do it. Uh, if you don't mind, let's do it. Uh, via old-fashioned ways, just your hand, uh, raise your hand. Uh, who is a researcher here? Okay, perfect. And who uh, is involved in a clinical research or handle with the patients that are something like that? Okay, so I uh, concentrate my attention to you because I met, uh, <laughs> uh, I met your uh, already uh, possible uh, future clients or users of, of a chip ring. And my last question is, who is familiar uh, with the activities or services uh, of the Czech Ring? Raise your hands up. One, two, okay. <laughs> uh, that's perfect. That's perfect because uh, that's the uh, great reason to be here and uh, start my presentation from the beginning. So uh, the Czech Ring is a, a large research infrastructure supporting uh, the clinical or patient-oriented uh, clinical research. Uh, we also uh, predefined some priority areas as a cardiology, oncology, uh, but also rare diseases or pediatrics, some areas which are um, sometimes or very often uh, neglected by the pharma company. Um, but it doesn't matter and it doesn't mean uh, that we uh, didn't support uh, your research in any other affair. Our mission and long term aim uh, of Chickering is uh, to help uh, researchers uh, provide really valid and uh, um, useful and valu valuable data from the research. And these uh, data uh, transfer and translate to the clinical practice with the main aim to optimize diagnostics, prevention, and the treatment of, uh, the, of uh, the patient, and not only Czech patient, but the whole population. Uh, Chikrin also can be described in a nutshell with uh, these five uh, main um, characteristics. Uh, as I already said, we support um, uh, non-commercial uh, clinical research, but of course we also cooperate with the uh, private uh, companies, especially small medium enterprises, and I will uh, present you the showcase. Uh, and um, also, uh, we uh, establish uh, the national unique uh, network of the healthcare providers. Uh, just uh, the main reason is to get direct action and direct uh, uh, approach to our uh, to our patient and to the hospitals. Uh, we are also a part of the European Clinical Research Infrastructure Agreement, and I will discuss more. And of course, uh, we are focused on the quality and especially on the of quality data um, following the fair data principles uh, because uh, we realize uh, how important uh, it is to have uh, the, the right data and how to interpret that. And uh, at the last, uh, this is the, the least, uh, is uh, uh, our focus on uh, education and uh, 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 trainings because we try to um, cultivate the environment of the clinical research at highest level as possible. So, as I mentioned, Czech Republic is uh, thanks to the Czech Ring uh, uh, in a very close connection uh, with the European mother, uh, European uh, Infrastructure Network, Green Eric. And uh, Thanks to these connections, we are able to provide all services for international clinical trials in the Czech Republic. But, may, but uh, maybe more important uh, things is uh, that we also are uh, able and prepared uh, to, to do your um, research, Czech research, to get interna internationalized. Uh, and uh, ECRIN provides a uh, connection uh, between the research entities uh, across the whole Europe and provides consultancy services and tools how to, um, how to avoid and minimize the obstacles uh, in, uh, uh, in uh, multinational studies uh, providing 
Also, it uh, provides support for international clinical trial evaluation and contributes to infrastructure uh, development of uh, other partners. So it is uh, very important. Nowadays, you can attend uh, the webinars uh, related uh, to the uh, future uh, applicants to Horizon Europe, how to get uh, how to get the successful applicants and uh, what are the specificities if uh, the um, uh, Horizon application uh, is um, uh, includes uh, the clinical trial. Uh, Chipprint service is, uh, could be also described by these uh, four main pillars. It is networking, expertise or know-how, uh, science or research, and uh, of course, education. As I already mentioned, we uh, built uh, the national unique uh, network of the healthcare uh, providers, all, the, all almost all uh, universities, hospitals are involved uh, in, uh, in the Chikri network. And uh, as, uh, you can see the list of them. Uh, we have also as a partners, uh, the complex uh, centers, for example, National Institute of Mental Health, uh, Institute of Hematology and Blood Transfusion, or in the in Vernal uh, Masary Memorial Cancer uh, Institute. And uh, all these, uh, in all these uh, hospitals, uh, there are a uh, dedicated person who can uh, support you uh, with the, um, uh, with the um, startup activities. And of course, as I already said, it is direct uh, uh, approach to, to, the, to the patient, which can be involved in your, uh, in your research. Our expertise or, um, or knowledge um, and the know-how what we are happy to share uh, is, uh, covers uh, not only technological capacity, capacities, but also it covers all stage of the life cycles and not only of the medicinal product, but also medical devices and uh, medical technologies. Uh, we, uh, do, uh, we try to use the biomedical research and translate, as I already said, into the uh, clinical practice. A uh, very important part is also the preclinical regulatory expertise. Um, because sometimes happen that researchers come to us uh, with the uh, with the already uh, done uh, research from the preclinical stage, but to uh, be able move to the uh, uh, further uh, stage, uh, it means clinical research and to involve human participants. Uh, it's not enough because it was not done uh, in um, uh, for for instance in according to the good laboratory practice, and that's the one, one, one piece of the uh, mistakes. Um, then we have uh, provide clinical trials of the old, old study, old phase, uh, phases, pharmacoeconomic studies, or and uh, of course pharmacovigilance is covered uh, all the all, all the uh, project uh, development. Uh, this uh, on this picture I can very uh, uh, nicely describe uh, all different uh, activities. Uh, it's not necessary to learn uh, and know all these abbreviations. I start with the last one, uh, regulatory and pharmacoeconomics. Uh, this uh, unit provides the consultancy at the beginning uh, of the research uh, uh, how, what should be followed from the regulatory and legislative point of view because this uh, part of the research, clinical research, is uh, from one of, it could be said it is over-regulated and it is really difficult to uh, learn how, what should be followed, uh, and uh, this uh, in this uh, in this unit you can get uh, really great advice. Then we have uh, disease oriented network. Uh, it is it is place or uh, just the interface for the um, physicians, professors who uh, prepare for or uh, get a, a research area for clinical trials. Then and this is very important part. Uh, GMP, uh, good manufacturer manufacturer practice. And this is the clean rooms, which was already discussed. Uh, and it doesn't mean uh, that, uh, or, or in other words, in the Masaryk University, or, or uh, rooms are clean, you know. Uh, but this is the uh, Terminus Technicus, uh, where uh, we can uh, develop and also uh, manufacture the investigational medicinal product. So from this point of view, it's very uh, important. Uh, then we have CTC, uh, clinical trial centers. Uh, so um, uh, these uh, ladies and uh, guys uh, can help you uh, and uh, 
uh, be responsible for all uh, services uh, from the point of view of sponsorship. It means project management, monitoring, pharmacovigilance, data management, data analysis, everything what you can, uh, what you can uh, need uh, for. Uh, CPU, uh, Clinical Pharmacology Unit, it's a network within the Czech ring, uh, which um, uh, covers uh, certified uh, healthcare providers who are certified for first in human studies. It means uh, if you want uh, to prove your product for uh, the uh, for next uh, clinical trial, you have to uh, uh, done the research in the in CPU and we can provide uh, the direct contact to them. And the last one, as I already said, uh, is the CPU as a uh, uh, the uh, connection and uh, network uh, within the Czech Republic uh, across the university hospitals. I forgot to mention that the Czech Rin, um, has been uh, has been founded since uh, 2014. So it means the next uh, next year uh, we will celebrate the 10th uh, anniversary. And uh, since uh, or during this time, we had um, to transform from the large uh, infrastructure to the large research infrastructure. And our research is um, is aimed. Uh, the bringing the new possibilities for prevention, treatment, uh, and uh, diagnostic, as I already said. And we are uh, focusing on personalized uh, drug development and uh, individual patient treatment. Thanks to the GMP we are, and green rooms, we are able uh, to uh, uh, develop uh, advanced therapeutic medicinal product, ATMP, based on cells and uh, give it to our patient. And this is the first uh, showcase uh, uh, one physician comes uh, to ask uh, dermatologist treating epidermis as uh, walls of patients. Uh, this is the it means that the skin is very fragile and um, uh, tiny with a lot of uh, injuries. And uh, just with, with the ideas, uh, well, we can treat it with uh, some stem cells. If it's water, and what do you think about? And uh, we developed uh, the new product uh, based on stem cells, medicinal stem cells. Uh, derived from, from the fat tissue, uh, liposuction, and uh, we develop it, uh, approve it uh, by, by regulatory authorities, and now uh, we uh, it's ongoing clinical trials with, uh, with, uh, as a first step uh, at the adult population, and uh, this month it should be the first patient in a uh, pediatric patient involved uh, in, the, in this study. Uh, uh, this is the uh, second showcase of, uh, of our cooperation, not only with the academics, uh, but also with the uh, private company. Maybe you are uh, aware about the en Enantis. Uh, they, uh, they developed a stabilized form of uh, fibro fibroblastic growth uh, factor 2, which, uh, thanks to the stabilization, has a uh, 50 times longer half-life. And they uh, they discussing uh, about uh, their its um, next uh, possible use uh, uh, as a stem cell cultivation it could uh, help uh, to stabilize them, but also in food, uh, in mean, meat cultivation and fertilizing <coughs> the animal production, but also in cosmetics as a skin regeneration. And uh, we cooperate with them uh, in this uh, treatment of poorly healing lungs. And uh, it was very lucky uh, example uh, when they uh, did uh, contact us in, in the beginning, uh, because as I already said, sometimes it happens that uh, the preclinical research um, is not possible to use for uh, next stages of the uh, clinical uh, trials uh, with the patient's population. And the last point is dedicated to, to the education. Uh, uh, we prepare a lot of, um, a lot of uh, uh, trainings, workshops, uh, webinars uh, for our uh, experts, investigators. Uh, uh, just, uh, but also, we try to um, uh, educate the new, and the, new, the new generation and uh, we popularize uh, the role of biomedical uh, research uh, in, a, uh, um, in the pupils and also uh, with um, uh, cooperation with the University of the Third Age. Uh, we, uh, we try to educate also the elderly population. Uh, as I already said, we uh, regularly organize uh, conferences, uh, summer school <coughs> workshops, and uh, you are uh, very welcome uh, to uh, Visit us, and uh, this is my last slide. Check in, she's in numbers. <laughs> Sorry for that. 
uh, and uh, this is uh, not uh, to ju just only show off and clown uh, with this high number <laughs> from my point of view, but just only to uh, demonstrate that we have a uh, really a long uh, experience with providing the clinical research. So it's not uh, easier than to visit uh, our website uh, and um, send uh, the request uh, via the online re request form. And we are happy, uh, really happy to cooperate with you. Thank you very much. Since there were quite many of you who were acquainted with what Chickwing does, uh, I expect you to have uh, more questions for Lenka. Yes, Thank you for your presentation. I have a question. You mentioned that you paid attention on uh, data management and fair data principles. Do you cooperate with that uh, in this uh, with some infrastructures or initiatives like European Open Science Cloud? Uh, yes, of course. Uh, we are also involved in EOS, EOS uh, Cloud. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure about the uh, right name because uh, it's changed a lot of times uh, and developed. Uh, uh, we also, or Ecrin, developed a standard for uh, data, uh, data certification, uh, data, uh, data centers. Uh, and uh, I would say that uh, uh, in the field of the clinical trials, they are the, the most strict, strict uh, regulation from this point of view. So yes, uh, uh, we also try to co cooperate with the infrastructure uh, across the Europe. And, uh, yeah. Thank you. I have a question if I miss that. Which institution is coordinating this infrastructure? Masaryk University. Masaryk University. Masaryk University. Yeah, and, uh, it is based uh, on the Department of the Pharmacology, uh, so it means the uh, Faculty of Medicine. And who is the responsible person? Responsible person is Associate Professor Aregina Demo, probably the head of the department okay. of the pharmacology of the Thank you. 